Hey guys, thanks for joining me on today's video. Today we're gonna to talk about tapered leaders and tippet material. And please keep in mind, this is my personal preference. There are a lot of fly fishers out there that like to use the really thin 6X and 7X and sometimes even thinner tapered leaders and tippet. And there are some out there that might not agree with me. They might say that you need to use 6X or 7X in some cases. But with all the trout fishing that I've done, I've never gotten into a situation where I had to use that fine a tippet or fine a leader. But if it works for you, that's totally okay. My goal today is just to kind of show you what's worked for me over the past 35 years and kind of give you a foundation to work off of for yourself. All right, let's go do it. And hey, if you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff like this in the future. All right, let's sit down and talk about tapered leaders and tippet. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna to talk about tippet sizes and leader. All right, let's get into the gear bag here. Pull out my tapered leaders and my tippet material. So if we're looking at what I commonly have in my gear bag, I've got nine foot tapered leaders. I generally buy three packs just because uh, it's kind of the value add proposition to where you get more, more for your money if you buy the three packs. But I've got the nine foot 2X, 10 pound leaders. 9 foot 3x 8 8.2 pound liters 9 foot 4x 6.4 pound liters and i've got some 9 foot 5x 5 pound liters and i have the matching tippet material for each one of these tapered liters so why do i have 2x 3x 4x and 5x and this again is just my preference there are some fly fishers out there that feel like you have to have a six or seven X tippet to be effective at catching fish on really small flies. But what I have found, if the fly line fits in the eye of the hook, you're gonna be able to catch fish. And that's just my experience over the past 35 years of fly fishing. Let's take a look at this first. So why do I use nine foot leaders? Nine foot leaders is really the most common length of leaders. It gives you the optimum length to be able to roll over whatever fly that might be tied on the end of this. Why would I go with 2X? It's 10 pound, it's pretty stout. Generally, I'll use 2X if I am using giant terrestrial patterns or hopper patterns or salmon flies. And I know that the fish are not leader shy at all. And I wanna put a little bit of punch when I go back, uh, when I go to set the, set the hook on the fish, I use 2X, right? Because I know that I'm gonna to have to work really hard to be able to break a fish off using 2X. Something that I commonly use is the 3X size. Now the 3X size you can see here is 8.2 pounds, also nine foot. 3X is something I typically use in the summer when again, the fish aren't very leader shy. I'm using bigger flies because the diameter of the tapered leader is a lot larger at the end on a 3X. So really to be able to get the line through the eye of the hook, it's gonna be larger patterns. It's gonna be fish that, that are not really oh, right showing any indication of being leader shy. Oh, man. 4X, so this is when I start to size down, right? If I know that the fish, I'm getting some refusals and they're not, they're not, uh, they're not taking the fly, there's a chance that the fly line that's showing, that's tied onto the end of the fly, it might be affecting whether the fish wants to take it or not. Plus you're using smaller flies, you're gonna have to use a 4X, a smaller diameter and smaller pound test uh, leader to be able to get the line through the fly and be able to uh, size down on the flies. Also, uh, one thing to note on 3X, a lot of times if you're using Madam Xs or big terrestrials or hoppers, when you're casting, they have a tendency to twist. Even though 4X, was, it would be probably heavy enough fly line for that type of fishing, the challenge comes when you start casting, without the heavier line, your line will start to twist. If you guys, if anyone, if you have been out there and casting these big terrestrials and your line just turns into a twisted mess, that's because they have a tendency to want to twist in the wind when you're casting. 4X leaders are gonna twist far more readily than 3X. So that's another reason why I, I size up when I'm using those type of flies. And now finally, if I'm starting to use some really small patterns, whether it's uh, bluing olives, little size 18s, griffin gnats, you're gonna have to size down to 5X and five pound because you're just not gonna be able to get the larger diameter fly line in the eye of those hooks. So if I'm really starting to get into technical fishing to where the fish are pretty spooky, have been caught quite a bit, 
you know, a lot of times I'll scale down to 5x just because, you know, the, the, in a lot of those cases, the fish are a little bit leader shy. They're smarter. They, they know that if they see a fly sitting on top of the water and it's got some monofilament off the end of it, they're not always readily going to bite it. So that's a lot of times why I go to 5x or if I'm using much smaller flies. Something that you'll notice in this next segment is that the tapered leaders do not match the tippet and pound rating. I use a tippet that is a PowerFlex Plus, and this Plus just adds a little bit of strength to the tippet material, and it's based on how it's constructed and what it's made out of. This will not affect how the tapered leader rolls out after a cast. And typically when I'm tying tippet on, I've cut down to the thicker portion of the tapered leader. So I like to have that extra strength since I'm tying a knot that generally has a 95 to 98% knot strength. So I compensate by having a heavier tippet. However, if you're starting off with a nine foot tapered leader and you just wanna add tippet material, the diameters are the same, even though the pound rating is a little bit higher on the PowerFlex Plus, but it will not affect how the tapered leader rolls the fly over. So just something to keep in mind as you're watching the next segment. Next thing you're gonna need are rolls of tippet material. So I essentially have a roll for each one of the leaders that I typically use. So I have a 2X tapered leader and I've got 2X tippet. I've got a 3X tapered leader and I got 3X tippet. I've got nine foot uh, 4X tapered leader and I've got the 4X tippet. And then finally, I have the 5X leaders and tippet. Why do you need tippet? Well, eventually, as you're beginning to tie flies on to these leaders, it's going to get shorter and shorter. You're going to have to add some length or tie on a new tapered leader. Tapered leaders can be expensive. These three packs can run anywhere from $9 to $12 for a three pack. So they're, they're not inexpensive, right? Once you've cut about two feet off of these nine foot tapered leaders, that's when it's time to start tying on the uh, the tippet material to lengthen it back up to get it to the nine feet. Or in some cases, if you're indicator fishing and you need some more length, you can start off with a nine foot leader and add four or five feet of the tippet material to lengthen those leaders without having to buy longer leaders. So one thing that you should always consider is based off of your tapered leader size, if you're gonna be tying tippet to the tapered leaders, you don't ever wanna tie, for example, a 3x tippet onto a 5x tapered leader. You generally do not want to size up on your tippet material on a smaller tapered leader. However, you can do the opposite. So for example, if I'm using these 3x tapered leaders, I can tie on a 4x to the end of that or a 5x at the end of that because I'm sizing down. So now if there's anything that's going to break, it's gonna be at the fly and it's not gonna be generally at the knot that you've tied. So it's okay to size down in this case, but really it's not the right thing to do to size up. So if you have all of this in your gear bag, 2x, 3x, 4x, and 5x tapered leaders, two, three, four, and five X tippet material. That really is going to be everything that you're gonna ever need. It's gonna cover the full gamut of everything that you're gonna be fishing, freshwater, still water, rivers, or lakes. So I go with this setup, and I think if you do the same, you're gonna have everything you're gonna need for any type of freshwater fishing. All right, guys, well, uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, fish on.